Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL uh, 49 first round match between Mordred and his Dark Elves and Cyber Knight. Not with Bretts or Augers, but with a, an amazing Chaos team. In the booth with me is Dimmy G the Champ. Hello Dimmy. Hello Jim, what a uh, fascinating spectacle we have here. Uh, it's El Clasico of Blood Bowl. I think the um, Dark Elf Chaos matchup is potentially one of the most played racial matchups in Blood Bowl. Mm. I think because they're both super popular, right? Yeah, that's and, super uh, interesting. Yeah, see, and uh, the perfect defense already denying Cyber Knight a couple of. Well, I don't know if he does pom to be fair, but like he, he definitely set up to. Yeah, maybe a bit of a mistake by Cyber Knight there. You know, like not putting these claw pommers where they would have got hits off a perfect defense. Yeah, maybe. I mean, if we want to be hypercritical. Well, I never averse to being hypercritical. <laughs> Cyber Knight's pretty good at the old blood bowls, just quietly. He is, yeah. Although I would have definitely rolled a pow there if I was uh, yes. playing. Yeah, that's, me too. It, it's silly to not roll powers. Why has he got the edge guy on the? I mean, it's super shut down the blitz, but I mean, it, you could have just had different players in different squares, right? Like, different flights, uh, like, The position was fine, but just could have had. The yeah, I, I guess with the guard either side, it's fine as well. There is a mighty blow. He's gonna hit the tackle. He gets a hit on the tackle straight away, which is super nice. Mm. I guess I guess he took tackles specifically for this game. Did he have pending level ups? Um, Potentially, I, I think he might have done. Yeah, because that looks like it's it's not the obvious skill. Like no. for, a, I, I I quite like stand firm there as well. Yeah, block guard stand and firm. So he's got five tackle. That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, it's insane. It's normally one of Chaos's biggest weaknesses is a, a lack of tackle. Ooh, yeah. puts the reroll in. He's here for business. Oh. Av8. Just a stun. Mighty Blow does get the stun though. Using the reroll is a bit rowdy, but I guess why not? Doesn't really get a foul though, does he? He has got a dirty player, Dark Elf Lino. Oh, that's not the place to roll a one. And now his Blitzer is getting pom 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 pom. The mm. pom with the warrior or the pom with the goat? Probably the warrior because he's three dicing, isn't he? Ah! I forget how good Cyber Knight is at purple. <laughs> to think he's been in three finals with Burt's, like, it's a terrifying it's a terrifying prospect when someone who's that good can get to three finals with Burt's <laughs> and, then, and then he actually takes a real team. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like he's he's definitely got to be one of the favourites for the the cup. Yep. Although I mean this is a an, an interesting one, isn't it? Eldrill wizards. Yeah, yeah. Mordred's no mug, is he? So that you know he's it's gonna, pretty good. Yeah. yeah. It, it's definitely uh, not not an auto win by any means. Love that animation. I love Chaos, I think Chaos, like he's got the correct Chaos kit as well guys, if any of you viewers want to know how to be a better Chaos coach, get your Cyans out, TNs or whatever they are, buy this Chaos kit. It is, an, it is a nice looking Chaos kit to be fair. Isn't yeah, it? I'd like it if the blue was like darker to be fair, <clears throat> like I think even better if, like it was more like the Necromantic one. Oh, change the Pommer out for the foul. Lovely play there from Mordredi. <laughs> love that, love that chain. Yeah. <clears throat> Did you see the play, guys? Yeah, that, but that's why I would have gone with a warrior, just because then you're armor nine anyway if he does foul you, right? So I quite like that. Quite like that. This will be a huge removal. Bomb hole. Yeah. <laughs> Glorious but Oh, it's one in nine there. That's a, that's like that's like one of the understated like huge swings. Like if he cases that Chaos Warrior, like the amount of equity. Yeah, it's crazy, off, isn't off, it? Off it? the chart. Yeah. yeah, fouls are so swingy. And they're gonna be even better in uh, the new edition. Mm. Oh. 
It's purple. Ce joueur préfère se battre entouré. On a great impression, Timmy. <laughs> It's purple. I hate to say it, but this is one of the incorrect Dark Elf kits as well. Yeah. With so many great options. I didn't really like this. I didn't really like this turn from my side. It's a little bit defensive, yeah. Mm. <laughs> and he's moving away from the warriors, which is. Didn't give himself a chance of a pylon. Didn't hit a good player like. I'm just gonna hit the block, right? Yeah. I think it was fine. You know, it wasn't terrible or anything. Just... No, it's, it's the ball safe, which is like better than we have seen some some games. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, a lot uh... of games. I mean, this is a, this is a very dangerous oh, game, is... isn't it? That's a hot. Oh Ooh. my god! I was. It wasn't even a snake, was it? Because it was dodging off tackle. But yeah, yeah still horrendous. Yeah. And then maybe like you look at the re-roll with the mighty blow hit earlier on and think if he doesn't re-roll that then maybe he re-rolls that, but I don't know. Yeah, good point. It's still it's still tough, isn't it? You you probably don't re-roll that, but like to get cast off it is horrendous. Yeah. And he's just gonna pom this uh sidestepper for free now, isn't he? And he maybe even put the foul in. Yeah, interesting. Uh, it might really, it's pretty tempting to hit the uh The witch, witch yeah. yeah. It's turn four, isn't it? Like it's not really a turn you want to be going back when you've got to battle through Eldril and a Wiz. I mean, how many elves are there though? There's only like a few. There's quite a few. Does he get him? Doesn't just a stun. Six, seven, eight, eight elves, nine elves on the pitch. Yeah, and he's like four squares in his own half as well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I would have quite. I would have quite liked to have gone forward and not back, but I can understand not wanting the not wanting the blitz from your backfield. Like you know, the, you don't want the blitz behind you, right? Because then the ways and Eldril can happen, and you can get at that blitz and you can fuck off. So you know, it, it's totally it's totally fine to do this from Cybernet. Like he's obviously prioritised not getting fucked by the wizard rather than yeah, he's setting up for the next turn. Yeah. Did you just say forwarder? No. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure I heard you say more forwarder. No, no, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I never make mistakes like that in my sport. Oh. Ever. <laughs> DP. <Deeply. laughs> Fuck off, Jimmy. <laughs> well said, Paravel. <laughs> what? Ban him. He's setting up the trap space, isn't he? I was, yeah, I was just literally thinking trap space there, yeah. yeah. I mean, you say trap space, but he's moving towards all of his good players. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, literally, he's moving towards three, four, like, God knows how many guard. Mm -hmm. Although, the cage might be a little bit tighter here, so the wizard might be a little bit of a... Yeah, yeah and he's got Eldril screened off, right, so he can come in and do something as well. On the turn that the wizard goes in, so that, you know this could be. But What's the? Is... Um... <clears throat> yeah, this is a little bit. He's got so many resources, though. He should be able to make it pretty, pretty safe. Who's he blitzing? The wrestle guy. Mighty blow. Uh, oh, with the yeah, with the tackle from there. Yeah. No, no, the no, not. Player. Oh, he greets oh! it and scores. Oh, that was not the play. Oh man! Now he might oh. see a whiz. Yeah, because these these guys are all left behind. That was uh. Did he just stand? He did, he's not whizzing. No, he's whizzed. Oh, he's yes. And there's Eldril. There's, there's the witch. Yeah. And then there's a blodger. He's only moved six though. That line only. Yep. Oh, but he throws it to the other one, right? Yeah. Oh, that, he's a probably really... a lot of ones here. Yeah, he doesn't have to. Th he doesn't have to throw it now anyway. He can just screen it. Yeah. That tackle from is still an issue. Mm. But yeah, that was the thing when it was re-rolling. It was re-rolling a non-turnover block. 
absolutely punished for the greed. Wonder how much more he could have moved that turn before he made that blitz. That is, the, yeah, it's an incredible punish. Oh, and he gets the he gets the power on the Palmer as well. Oh. And again! <laughs> oh my God! What a swing turn, Jim! What a Jesus swing turn! Jesus Christ! That might be the swingiest turn we've ever seen. <laughs> I mean, like you hate to see greed punished, but you know, <laughs> that was that was pretty epic punishment for greed. <laughs> that was unbelievable! Yeah, holy Just shit! Tackle Palmer, Kaz. You lose the ball. You probably lose the half. Yeah. What turn is it? And he's not going to have enough time to score back. No. Oh man, that was horrendous. Only only thing that could have made that worse is if the lightning bolt has the ball carrier. Yeah. 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 Well, he didn't dub skull. He uh, he pushed skull, did he? And then rerolled it into a dub skull. Double pushed, rerolled into double skull, and then he's, he's that killer was okay. The killer who did that was okay. But then, then uh, Mordred blitzed his, his Beastman killer and cast him. <laughs> yeah. Greed blocks do not directly lead, lead to toxic community. <laughs> what? So, I know what all of these are. Yeah, it's, I, see it's him, I see him posting them all the time. Yeah, it's unbelievable that he knows them all. <laughs> that is ridiculous. He must have a list. He must have like, yeah, a spreadsheet. To, yeah, he's got to have a uh, spreadsheet. Either that or he needs to get a life. <laughs> that or he's rain, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm really good at knowing loads of useless information that will never help me earn money, sadly. <laughs> I could have done something with my life, Jim. <laughs> yeah, me too. Could have been somebody. Uh, well, oh! That's out of rerolls. That's all the rerolls in mm. the world. I mean, that's what he needs, though, really, isn't it? I guess. Mm. I mean, that's interesting because there's a lot of tackle on Cyber's team, so he's he should be able to make and make dodges without ta without dodge. That's a interesting squeen squeen. squeen. <laughs> that's, an, <yeah. laughs> that's a really interesting squeen, Jim. <laughs> Especially when there's an edgy tackle guy right there. That's a free. That's like a two plus dodge through to two D the ball, isn't it? That's horrendous. Oh no, it's a it's a three two. Yeah, not the best screen I've ever seen. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's just a two plus now. Is it? Is it? I can't. I can't even work out these tackle zones. Oh my god. Three, four, five, six, no, he's moved seven, so it's just a two plus, yeah. Not, not the best screen I've ever seen. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, wow. <laughs> What's the odds on the catch here? He's going to catch it on the other bits, or anything. Oh, my God, oh. he though. <laughs> Phil, Phil, the forwarder. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the only issue here is he's going to hit it with a mighty blow, isn't he? Oh, and he fails the three plus. Oh, did he need the three plus? Yeah, Was he going yeah, for the yeah. pickup? Yeah, he had to because otherwise he just he just fucks him, doesn't he? Oh, yeah. Like this is <laughs> this is totally fucked. Like he's still totally fucked as so, Is yeah, it? Is the bloody quality on this thing is. Sorry. It's a, it's a garbage. Yeah. I guess it's, yeah, he's got another turn after this as well. Oh, wow. Mm, oh, is he just going to dodge off tackle? Yeah. With no wee wall. <laughs> wee wall for this queen. <laughs> oh, he's just punching. Yeah, fair. Yeah. I don't know about this. Yeah. Is he going to pick up with a witch? Yeah, I think so. Oh, he rolls the wall no, off the dodge off tackle. There's been some awful dice in this game. Yeah. Yeah. The Dells have not been very agile. Yeah. Especially that Witch Elf. She was not agile at all. Yeah, so Cyber lost his scoring threat in amongst all that smile. So maybe he yeah. should have kept that. I think you should have thought about keeping it. But then on the I other hand, you know, he had to try and stop it. Scored, oh, so he's not going. To, I guess he just picks it up with the edge. Yeah. yeah. Imagine if he just had the beast man there, like he could have got a chance. Yeah, and... yeah. Can always write all along. 
Mm. Maybe, like maybe, maybe in this case, like how much did this guy do? You know, probably not much. So maybe that guy should have gone forward last turn. But like, it, it's fair enough to like think you've got to get as much back as possible because like you know, otherwise he's just gonna lose, isn't he? So it's... Again, he, got, he's, he seemed to have played pretty safe this game, hasn't he? So... Well, you say that, yeah. Apart from the greed reroll that got mega punished. Yeah, yeah. The three two. Ah! Oh! Oh, that is last three roll nice. It is. Oh my god. Oh wow, the GFI was insane though. Well, oh, he gets so. turfed. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's the guard though, no reroll. <laughs> Fails the GFI for the foul, right? Yep. Oof. Like, has he done enough? Maybe. Has he done enough to score? I guess, yeah, Eldril comes in for the assist. And the Witch Elf Blitz. The 3 plus, yeah. Yeah. It's the full instant pow. Who's gonna pick the ball up though? That is the problem. The block guy, he can't even reach, can he? The yeah. guy on the floor, yeah. This guy just goes all the way down. Oh no, this guy goes around. Oh my god, there you go. That guy gets it. Oh, and he rolls a one. <laughs> this has been, been a few. It's been a few game. ones. It has. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's it's probably healthy for the game. Yeah. And chaos have not done the damage that you'd expect for this particular team to do. You got one KO and one cat. Is the Kaz? Oh no, the Kaz was from the dodge, right? So he must have cast something else. Yeah. Yeah. Capo's done. Yeah, yeah 11. 11 elves. And are we going to see a Daka Daka? I think we probably should. Here we go again. <laughs> Daka. My defense on offense. <laughs> yes. It's so good, isn't it? <laughs> it's a pretty good scene. I really liked his new one. The uh, I can't even remember the, the song now. But it's... Uh, the words, the lyrics in it are just top notch. Mm. Crucy or. Uh... No, not Crucy, it's the other one, I think. Try or. Crucy, no, Try not. and Kalon, isn't it? The Kalon one. Uh, oh, Equity. Say, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Equity, that's yeah. it. That's yeah, Equity. that's my yeah. favourite one, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> See the player check the line, confirm all this is fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> all so good. It's a banger. It's a banger. It's a club classic. Yeah. And we're, we're getting we're getting the more dready. Uh, yeah, Daka Daka. Daka Daka. Love to see it. Be great as well, isn't it? With Eldril, like Eldril can can carve a yeah. for a breakthrough. It just delays the attrition, right? It's just perfect. Yeah. French kiss. Yeah, you can break any screen with Eldril. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, screens don't exist, do they? That was a terrible screen though from Odredi in the uh He literally had the score and kinda of threw it away like with the mighty blow guy. Yeah, it's funny now I don't know how hard it was to like do something better. Like that's the problem, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like it's easy to say. Like that's, I, that's why I try not to be too critical, like honestly, you know, like it's because you can say like well like I like to try to say like could he have done something better or whatever because it's, it's you know, it's a lot of the time it's not obvious, is there? But then maybe there was like some Really good player that he could have maybe he could have made a really good cage, but um yeah you know given the benefit of the doubt and say it wasn't easy. Yeah, and the fact that I mean yeah, at the end of the day he's edgy four anyway, so he's probably going to go wherever he wants. Yeah. I'm surprised he took guard. Like imagine he took two heads. Yeah, that is a weird one, isn't it, to take guard on a, on a move seven. Yeah. I mean, and, and the tackle, the tackle's perfect, obviously, for move seven match four. But yeah, the guard one is a bit odd. I would have loved to have seen two heads there. Yeah. <laughs> what sets apart a screen from a screen? <laughs> yeah. Well, a screen actually shields the ball, whereas a, <laughs> whereas a screen does not. <laughs> 
Interesting how uh, Cybers attacked the uh, Dapper as well. He's just gone full line rather than uh, the columns. Yeah. Quite like it, but there is a weak point on both ends of the front line. <laughs> yeah, the other one is more forwarder. <laughs> more forwarder, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure I didn't even say that, you know. You did, I would check the VOD. I'm sure I didn't. You'd better check the VOD, this is slander. Don't watch the VOD, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Don't watch the VOD, Jim. <laughs> it's because I'll find out I didn't say more forwarder. This is, uh, this is, this is a lot less Dakar. Less Dakarish. Yeah. This is, uh, interesting. I think it's not a bad idea though, right? Because, okay, it's kind of terrible in that you get, you know, quite a few people base, but at least you've got, like, space behind you now, you know, to, like... Because that was the big thing, if you remember the Nick versus Razzle game, where Razzle just kept going back and he, like, yeah. just everyone there and then Nick just completely smothered him. So I think... It gives, you, it gives you the option to try to break through and if you don't break through, you've got somewhere to retreat to right yeah exactly whereas with yeah what you're saying with Razzle was it, there was nowhere to retreat to once the breakthrough failed and you just get choked out didn't you like well like, it was a bit similar when Nolly played uh, Diomed wasn't it yeah, uh, yeah Diomed went mental and just like right deep all the GFIs based everything yeah. it was a good it's, game that one I enjoyed that yeah, well, it's got to be through here and there it is I, the gears the gaze. Oh, he does the one -er. Oh, mm. cheeky one -er. Is he not followed there? Okay, well, no, he followed you. No, he didn't. What? Yeah, I don't understand, Jim. Why didn't he follow? He didn't want to base the... Oh, he still got a blitz, but... Why didn't he follow? Oh, he's blitzing that one, right, okay. <laughs> this is the gayest guy in here, because... Yeah. Nice armor break. So who's he going to do? Expose the witch? I guess you just can't afford to claw on the witch, can you? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and it just dodges through with everyone anyway. <laughs> yeah, no, I am it's looking pretty good for him though. The question is, is like, what turn is he scoring? Because it looks like turn 13 or 14 at this stage. Yeah. I guess that's why he rerolls that dodge, because it's not that relevant, but at least, uh, kind of, you know, it gives him maybe a chance to stall or whatever. Mm. Good game this one, I'm enjoying this one. Yeah. I bet. Do you reckon he's still kicking himself for re-rolling that into a dub skulls? Maybe, yeah. I probably. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know much about Cyber Knight. I've seen him in like a few chats and stuff, mm. and I know he's very, very good at Blood Bowl, but I don't know how he sort of reacts to adversity. It's hard to know that, isn't it? When people don't stream and stuff, but you know they're good players, like you don't know that they're like melting inside. Do you know what I mean? Like. No, you can safely assume it though, because they're playing blood ball. <laughs> yeah, like, I wonder if he like. I wonder if he gets like nervous about chalice games and that. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure there are some people that do, and like, I do. But then I'm pretty sure there are people that just don't even care about it. Like they just play it as a normal game. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Kadon, he does play Burts and Ogres. He plays Ogres really, really well. I remember watching him. Like the first time I saw him was. Uh, Blitz pit with ogres because he's mental. Because <laughs> you know, if there's a game in Blitz pit that involves ogres, I'm casting it. Because <laughs> <laughs> Tom sneers of Athena. <laughs> oh, that's not. This is all looking a little bit scared. Oh, he's backing off. Mm. Probably the right play, and I, I feel like there's probably a few players out there that wouldn't have took that line. They would have just tried to force the sideline when it wasn't on anymore. But it does obviously give Cyber Knight some... Oh, What's going on here? I don't know, Jeff. He's blitzing the... But, like, it's, it's still 1D, isn't it? 
with a guard there, unless he comes all the way around the back. Oh, ah, yeah, okay, it's going to come all around. But his uh, his quatrix has exposed him. <laughs> Man, another stun. He's, he's had some good armor. Uh, I mean, honestly, Jim, how useful is that word, quatrix? Like, <laughs> I feel we should we should petition for uh, to make it an actual word because it's so much better than saying bottom right diagonal. Yeah, you know it's I mean? so good. It's actually so good. The quatrix. <laughs> like, how useful has it been? Yeah, it really has been. <laughs> Got a weak quatrix. <laughs> oh, he does. He needs to. He needs to get some guys over here, doesn't he? Get over here, baby. He's obviously got a pom first. Push there. <sighs> He's had some disappointing block dice as well with Cybernet. He's done he's done no damage. <laughs> yeah. And uh He's had some disappointing Oh now this is looking good Ooh. for just switch it back to the left, don't you? Yeah, yeah, got... yeah. Yeah. I think this might have been an overcommit, like Because he's got the two players for it, and maybe he's not going for it. Oh he's not, he's gonna just Yeah, okay, he's just gonna go up the side but then now he's got to go all the way around that beastman on the on the right mm, I think I think hitting the pommer yeah I, I think he just saw the pommer and was like yeah I'm gonna mighty blow that yeah which is fair isn't it it's just totally yeah, fair kind of is, yeah. sideline cage thinks he's playing lizards <laughs> Eldrill pops dodge Gaze? Didn't gaze! Why are you not gazing? That annoys me. That annoys me. You just, you just gaze. Like, why not? That's two people I've seen do that in this chalice, and it's tilted me both times. Yeah. It was the augmented beard against Andre did it. And now, I mean, like, you can forgive uh, Mordredi a bit more than Beard because he's not playing vampires and all of his players don't have gays that should be gazing every yeah. time. But yeah, that, that definitely should have been a gay. I, I kind of hope Eldril dies here. <laughs> yeah, we don't know how much he's used vampires as well. Like, the, the things that, you know, some people, if you if play a lot of vampires, you know, like, I know, I know it's a basic thing to always gaze if you can, but still, yeah. you can imagine people who haven't played vampires, you know, won't realise how good it is that you can just do that for free, and you have to. Well, he made, free. yeah, he made the witch a three plus dodge rather than a two plus dodge. I mean, it's just, it actually did something there. It weren't just a pointless gaze either. Mm. It was, it was an actual reason to gaze, mm. which makes it even more frustrating. Yep. Beard plays every turn. Of, yeah, he does, T man. He absolutely does play every turn of 15 seconds. He plays pretty well for how fast he plays, but then so does like Singolo. And um, who else is it who plays really, really quickly? Uh, I think Nalicius plays like really, really quickly. Like, I think most of the best players play pretty slowly. Not slowly, but like patiently. Mm. I make most of my mistakes when I'm not playing slowly. Interesting. KO. Have the, uh, at this point, the Dark Elves have outbanged the Chaos, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. Which is just horrendous. <laughs> yeah, that's not what you need, is no, it's chaos. Absolutely banged him. Pretty, I'm really like I'm impressed with uh, Mordredi though. Like I think he's played solid. Like like it can be awful this matchup with the wizard and stuff, but I feel like uh, Simon has just been hard punished for that dub skull. Yeah. Like he lost the Pommer, didn't he? he got Pommer cast, and he still didn't get. The, he still stopped the score, which was pretty impressive as well. Yeah. 
I would have felt really frustrated as Mordredi not uh, getting the score after the the way it went. Yep. Hey! Pointless attrition after you've lost. Makes the stats look good though, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, it makes it look even, doesn't it? Is it? He'll get free Kaz on the last LOS as well, for sure. <laughs> 100% he'll get free straight cares. Yeah. Dice him and he ran with it. <laughs> <laughs> Just dice him. It's it's not really been a dice in, I wouldn't say. I mean, it, it's just, it's not. It's just been enough, do you know what I mean? It's not been like <clears throat> glaring dice in, whatever. I think it's been approaching a glaring dice in. Yeah. It's, it's like, um. What is it like the thousand paper cuts or whatever it is? Like, isn't it? It's just like it's just the accumulation of things going well have like made it a bit of a dice in. Whereas there's not really any one specific thing that you like stands out, barring the double skull. Yeah. Is he taking the hit here? He's got it, right? Oh dear. Oh, he's gazing. Burnt the yeah. one as well. What a strat. Look, look at that guy. <laughs> he's, he's evolving, Jim. Yeah, I would have definitely gone for the hit there. What, this one, yeah? No, the, the hit Eldra, like, just GFI with the uh, with that witch first. Oh, uh, yeah. Right. Yeah. So what, I mean, best case scenario for uh, Cyber Knight is forcing a 1 in 36. Yeah. Which is or, not very... Or just hope, well, the air powering him would be a 1 in 36. No, it would be a one, 1 in 6 powering him. So maybe just trying to dodge through, you know, like as stupid as it is, whatever that would have been, five, you know, 5-5. Five, five, yeah, yeah. 5, and then a 1-D. Is it even... Oh yeah, because of the horn, so... He dodges from elbow instead of punching him. Yeah, so Barely. I was going it for he was going with it for him. One, yeah. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe you should just uh, hit Eldra three days to open him. Maybe maybe. It's for one of those things, isn't it? Does he don't get him to score, but... Does he does he put the sidesteppers on the LOS is the question. Fairly okay, it's only movement 7. If it was movement 8, I'd think it would be better, but yeah, movement 7, one turn is not great. Um, he's still got an apple, so yes, he puts sidestep on there. Yeah. Eldril doesn't have sidestep, does he? Well, yeah, you, put, you can put Eldril, you could put Eldril on the LOS because you don't care about him. And he's only got two yeah. sidesteppers, hasn't he? Ah, so. uh, yeah. So you could put two sidesteppers in Eldrum and then you're definitely good, but I guess there's also the aspect of you don't want your good players to die. I never saw Mordred having eight players, uh, 11 players on <laughs> turn 16 no, in this game. This, no, this is, I think this is a low key dicing, really. It's, no, it hasn't when, screamed out that his dice have when, been incredible. Yeah. I mean, when banger teams don't bang, maybe that maybe that even led to the reroll, like on um, on that block, because he was getting frustrated that he wasn't doing some damage, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And it is easy, like it is easy to start thinking that way. Blitz. <laughs> it's the opposite the of a riot. It More is. Yeah, sad times for Cyberdike. Qualified an absolute stonking team. Yeah. Like, I mean, like all of the chaos are losing the first round. It's so weird. It really does make you think that, like, you know, is it worth qualifying with a good chaos team? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's like. Really? I think Chort's better, to be honest. It's like, overall, because of the blanket tackle. Mm. And you got the two balls that could do stuff as well. Yeah, maybe. And then, like, less AV8. I know they've got a couple of AV7s, but, like, AV8 is questionable at times. Yep. Are you, are you ready to join us for the Dave or match, k -Bom? He's still eating his potato, would he? <laughs> Probably. Was he, did he say what he was eating? He said it was potatoes, but he didn't say what it was. 
he didn't so. I bet he's a baked potato man, isn't he? He's definitely a baked potato man. He's gotta be. I'd be shocked if he's not a, if he's not a baked potato man. I do like a yeah. I do like a baked potato. No, three times the chalice titles doesn't mean fuck all day. But if you if you take away Cruz, right? If you take away Cruz, then Chorfs, Nurgle, and Chaos are all about the same win rate in chalice, and all about the same titles in chalice. No, surely not. Yeah, they are. They're all they're all pretty they're all pretty similar. Like you know, Chorfs has still got the most if you take out Cruz, but it's still pretty similar. There's a lot of variance. There's a lot of variance in wins. Like, there's so much variance in who wins. Like, obviously, Chaos were really close to an extra win, weren't they? When when they uh, when they they've definitely been they've definitely been in more finals than the yeah. others. When they lost on kicks, I don't know if you remember that one. Uh... Oh, was it to Norse? Was it to Norse? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. With with rolls up, were they? Yeah, they were. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, the closest, <laughs> the closest you ever got. Yeah. The, the the gym guarantee as well nearly nearly did it. The closest I ever got to was round two overtime. <laughs> <laughs> I got diced by Ducky. Yeah. I didn't get diced. I just lost. <laughs> but I like to call it a Dyson. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm the champ. <laughs> I've never lost a game that wasn't a Dyson. <laughs> Same as all of us. It's like it's like it's like guilty people in prison, isn't it? <laughs> I'm innocent, man. Oh, dear. Carry on. Carry on. Yeah. Yeah, oh, was... mate, what a win for Mordredi. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. And what a loss for Cybernet. You know, like, if it wasn't a killer, chaos. And 17 arm breaks <coughs> isn't even that bad. It's just they did nothing. Yeah. I mean, like, when you compare that to Ungern getting, like, 24 armor breaks and removing every single player with humans. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, free cas, free KOs. Like, he did outblock him though, to be fair. No. Yeah, yeah, the chaos is 34. Oh, right, yeah. 24. I read that the other way because of the other page mm. it shows that they were. Yeah, yeah, and they only inflicted two cas because the other cas was a. Uh, the witch. Dodge. Dodge. Yeah. yeah. It looked so bad for uh, Mordred at that point as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's funny. Funny old game, wasn't it? Funny old massive game. Swing turn, massive swing turn. Yeah, that was that was wild. And that's the that's the that's the sad thing. Even, and I, I I guess that's it. Like if you make a monster bash team, your biggest enemies are another monster bash team, which it's mostly going to come down to dice or elves with a wizard. And I guess the thing with chaffs is against elves with a wizard, at least at least there's loads of tackle, mass tackle on the, yeah. on the turn that it happens. Um, yeah, well, there you go. Great result for Mordred. Congrats to Mordred. Commiserations to Cyber Knight. Thank you very much, Jimmy. Great having you here. As always. I really, yeah, I really enjoyed that game, to be honest, Jim. Yeah, it was a hell of a game. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic.